well, what do you want to do today? I know, we could point your domain name to WP Engine. How about that? That's after all why you clicked on this video, so let's go and do that right now. Okay, so at this stage, you should have two things set up. You should have your domain name registered with Namecheap, and you should have your web hosting set up with WP Engine. In this video tutorial, it's all about pointing your domain name to your website, your web hosting over at WP Engine. If you do not have your domain name set up or WP Engine set up, then head to the show notes down below where I walk you through the entire process for those two things. Anyway, now if you're a little bit confused about the concept here too of pointing a domain name to your web hosting, again, I'll leave some links for you down below as per usual, so you can check all that out. Now, in order to actually pull this off, it may get a tad technical at one point, but it's actually very straightforward. It's a lot easier, in fact, than you might think, and that's why you're here, so that's what we're gonna do. I wanna mention here too that this process that I'm about to run you through, you'll have to run through this process anytime you want to point a domain name that you've registered in the past with Namecheap to hosting that you've set up with WP Engine. As I say, it's a fairly straightforward process. What this really means is a trip back to Namecheap. And I have two pieces of good news for you. Good piece of news number one is that it only takes a few minutes to set this up. And piece of good news number two, what is the second piece? Of, oh, the other second piece of good news is that it only takes about 30 minutes to see your changes resolve, as they say, across the web. So in other words, when you type in your domain name, your website URL, getting it to actually point to your website, that's what I'm trying to say, only takes about 20 or 30 minutes for that change to happen. Anyway, let's jump into it and I'll talk more about that towards the end. Okay, let's get your domain name pointed to your WP Engine hosted website. Now, truth be told, there is going to be a little bit of back and forth, a little bit of jumping around here, but I'm going to walk you through every step of the process. So a good place to start would be a new browser window. So go ahead and fire up your browser, fire open a new browser tab, whatever you need on your side. And let's head to WPEngine.com and log into our WP Engine account using the sign in link in the top right corner. Go ahead and sign into your account. It's inside our WP Engine account where we will find the information that we need. Specifically, if you simply click on installs up towards the top there, that'll bring you to the overview page, which contains everything that we need. If I scroll down just a little bit here, there's the C name that we need, and there's the IP address that we need as well. That's it. That's all we need out of the back end here for now, anyway. And by the way, if you're interested, I don't know why I'm throwing this in, but I will, you can find this information underneath domains on the left hand side there as well. So it's this information here, the C name and the IP address, that we need to go and plug into our domains settings over inside Namecheap. So this is the the second hurdle, the second hoop to jump through here. So I'm going to go and pop open a new browser tab. Keep your, your user portal open in a, another browser tab there. And I'm going to navigate to Namecheap.com. And once you arrive on Namecheap, go ahead and sign into your account there. Okay, now once you're in, once you're logged into Namecheap, probably the best thing to do is to navigate to your domain list. I have no idea how many domain names you have registered with Namecheap, by the way. I have a whole pile of them. Maybe you only have one, or maybe you have a few already. I have no idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find the domain name that I want to point to WP Engine for myself. That is 10 Ton Testing. And way over on the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and click on manage. Go ahead and do the same thing on your side. On the next screen that appears, go ahead and click on advanced DNS. Okay, now it's on this advanced DNS screen where all the fun happens. Here at least what I see is I can see 
some host records here. There's this host records table. I can see CNAME record and something about a URL redirect record, this guy here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab the CNAME record that we had back in our user portal, and I'm going to go and plug it into this guy here. This is the first order of business. So this is why I asked you to keep your user portal open in another browser tab. And let's see, it's this guy right here. I'm gonna go and select this guy and copy him and then back over to Namecheap. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click inside this value field. This is for the C name record, don't forget. And I'm gonna select all this stuff here and paste right over top of it, just like that. Now, don't forget to click the green check mark. You gotta save your changes here. So go ahead and save those changes, all right? Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need that IP address, right? So here's how that's going to work. I'm going to head back to my user portal here, my WP Engine user portal, and I'll go and grab the IP address, this guy right here, and I'll copy him, Controller Command C, back to Namecheap. And then what I'm going to do here inside Namecheap is I'm going to click on Add New Record. Go ahead and do the same on your side. What we need to do, and this gets a little hairy, it gets a little technical, but I think we can handle it here. What we want is we want an A record. Go ahead and select that guy. And what I'm going to do here is I have this host area here, or this host field, I should say. I'm going to put in an at symbol, okay? So that would be shift two on your keyboard. And then the IP address field, you guessed it, we're going to paste, okay? And then way over on the right-hand side, once again, go ahead and save your changes, okay? We're getting there. We're maybe about two-thirds of the way through here. Next, I have this URL direct, or sorry, redirect record, this guy right here. I'm going to toast him delete them. Trash can over on the right-hand side. Give them the trash can. There we go. Something like that. Okay. So the changes are complete here, at least on Namecheap, which is great. You may want to compare what you have on your side to what I have here. Once again, the C name record, there it is. The A record, there's, there it is there, the IP address. The last thing that I need to do is I need to go and add the domain to my WP Engine account. Follow me along the magical mystery tour here. I'm going to go back to my user portal, okay, right here. And if you're still on this overview screen, that's perfectly fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on enter domain here. Okay, hopefully you see that there as well. And if I scroll down a little bit here, what it's done is it's taken me to the domains area here on the left-hand side. There's all that same info, by the way, that I mentioned earlier, the C name and the, the IP address there. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. We have domains and redirects, and I'm gonna click on add domain. And it says, what domain do you wanna add? Well, I'm gonna add in the domain that I have pointing to WP Engine over in Namecheap, at least for myself, that's 10tontesting.com, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on add domain. And you know, that should just about do it. That should pretty much finish off all the settings that we needed here. I told you, it's a lot of jumping back and forth, a lot of copying and pasting and things like this. Hopefully you were able to follow me along here and get your settings established as well. And that's really all there is to pointing your Namecheap registered domain name to your website hosted with WP Engine. Well, there you go. There's the process for pointing your Namecheap domain name to WP Engine. It got a little hairy at one point, but certainly nothing that you and I couldn't handle here. So it's a little anticlimactic at this point. You update your changes and then just kind of sit tight for 20 or 30 minutes, as I mentioned earlier on. It just takes a little bit of time for the domain name to resolve or propagate, as they say in geeky web terms. It just takes a little bit of time for that change to kind of take effect, if you will. So again, when you type in your domain name into your web browser, for it to actually point to your WP Engine hosting. So just kind of sit tight for now, maybe go grab a coffee or grab lunch or something like that, and everything should be fine in just a little while. If you're not seeing your changes after about a half hour, just wait longer. <laughs> Give it about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. If it's not working after an hour, okay, something's up. So what you'll need to do is double check your settings. And this means a trip back to Namecheap and maybe a, a trip through these steps that I just took you through again, just to make sure that you've set everything properly, okay? So until such time, just kind of sit tight and do your thing. That's really all there is to pointing your domain name to WP Engine. And while I've got you here, I should mention that I have a free 
online course for folks like us, small business owners and even medium-sized business owners and self-marketers and creative types and so on, you can go and check that out over at 10tononline.com forward slash free while it's still there. So go and check it out while it's still there. All right, I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.